South Florida is looking at the loss of thousands of jobs and huge amounts of money as TV and movie makers stay away in droves. That was the warning given by Miami-Dade lawmakers today as Florida's incentive program to lure show business here has run dry. CBS 4's Gary Nelson explains. I miss it, people. The HBO sports drama Ballers. Sometimes you know something's coming. And the Netflix series Bloodline are the only big productions still being made in South Florida, and they might not be next year if Florida doesn't renew its love affair with producers. We have lost over the past five years somewhere in the neighborhood of $800 million in production. Think about how many jobs and how many people that that would employ. Miami-Dade legislators heard today what they already know. The state's run an incentive program, payments to producers for coming here to run dry, and the legislatures refuse to renew it. TV and cinema are going to states that do offer breaks. The movie Rosewood, set in Florida, was shot in Georgia because Georgia offers handsome incentives. A Ben Affleck movie set in Tampa is being shot in California because of big breaks. Florida's theater union has lost a quarter of its members. They have to move to other states to find work. The work isn't here anymore. Makeup artist Aaron Keith hasn't applied much here lately. I haven't been able to work here. I've had to go out of state and all my tax dollars are going there and my money's not coming in here. so. It's pretty devastating. Never mind the lost work, shows shot here are a magnet. Call it the Miami Vice effect. We're watching tourism boom as a result. Miami Vice is that perfect example of uh, ultimate economic growth through media. The mayor called filmmaker bonuses a no-brainer. They'll, they'll shoot here or they'll shoot in Louisiana. I mean, you know, one or the other. So I'd rather ha have them shoot it here. Lawmakers were sympathetic. There is a lot of support for in the legislature. It just hasn't crossed the finish line. I think that this year there actually might be some dollars invested. The entertainment industry will be among a long line of interests with their hands out when the legislature meets next year and with the governor proposing a billion dollars in tax cuts. The chance of a happy ending for showbiz is far from assured. In Miami, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.